Today is number two of the Strong Curves Lockdown Program. Today we're going to be tackling the quads and the calves for nice slender thighs. Are you ready for it? Well, let's get into it. So starting with some warm-ups, we're going to grab our resistance band and start by just twisting the body with our hands overhead. So keep that core nice and locked. You're going to pivot on each foot. This is a great way to gently warm up the body. Then we're just going to move into some full wide arm rotations. Make sure you go wide enough so that you don't have to bend through your arms. You want to lock those arms out. This is going to stretch your chest. And then we're going to do some side bends. You should feel that all the way down your side body. Nothing crazy, we're not overstretching here. This is just to ease the body into some movement. Getting rid of that resistance band, we're just gonna move into some nice big body swings here. So make sure you've got a lot of space and just really twist the body and swing those arms out. Shake it out. Now we're going to cross the body, so swinging those arms in and out. Build up some heat through the body. This will really get your back muscles firing as well. And some nice neck rolls in one direction. Nice and slow, big movements. And let's go the other way. So really stretch your neck muscles and massage your spine. Oh, feels good. All right. Now we're going to warm up the lower bodies. This is a full dynamic flow here. You're going to do a reverse lunge. And at the same time, you're going to put your arms up into the ceiling. So stretch your psoas, your hip flexors, your abs. Also get those legs nice and warm as well. If you can't get that knee all the way down to the ground, that's fine. Go as deep as you can. So obviously work your core stability as well. Shake that out. Some gentle leg swings. You can steady yourself by holding onto the, a wall or a chair or something. will work your balance too. Let's do the other side. Good job guys. Let's go into a full yogic squat. Yes, this is nice and deep. Keep your back flat. If you can't keep your back flat, then you might want to elevate your heels on a block or some books. Gently rock from side to side. Make sure that you're pushing those elbows out against the knees. Now we're going to put one hand down and open up the chest, reach for the sky. Look upwards. Do a few on each side here. Very nice. Slowly getting back up. Last one. Let's get into some high knees. You know the drill. Keep those knees nice and high. Let's generate some heat now, ladies. Let's go. Clap. 
clearly having a great time, aren't I? Keep going. Keep those knees high. Nearly there. Whew. Yeah. All right, let's get into the first circuit. Grab your purple band. We're gonna put it around the thighs, above the knees. Grab one of your dumbbells. We're gonna hold it in a goblet style here. Feet are narrow, about hip width apart. I'm gonna squat down and then up onto the toes. So keep that weight close into your chest. Keep the elbows high. Squatting full depth. Nice and slow. Don't rush through this. Squeeze everything at the top. Coming up onto the tiptoes, we're squeezing those legs, squeezing the glutes, and really working those calf muscles. This will challenge your stability too. If this is a bit too difficult for you, feel free to omit the calf raise. Or you could just go body weight and give it a go. Sometimes the weight can just make it a bit too challenging on your stability, so do whatever's right for your fitness level. Full range of motion, get those thighs all the way down. All right, setting that weight down, we're gonna go over to our bench. We're gonna do single leg squats, 15 per leg. You wanna set yourself up by just sitting on the edge, making sure your knees are at right angles and stand up. Bring that band up towards the thighs. Lifting one leg up. You can balance on your toes if you need to. We're going to just push off that grounded leg. Squeeze it straight at the top. Don't forget to do that PPT, posterior pelvic tilt. Really push off that grounded foot. Keeping that other leg just floating. And keeping the tension on that band. Don't worry if you wobble, we all do. Just steady yourself and keep going. Nearly there. Good job. Whew, it's a burner. We're gonna go straight into the other side. Let's do it. Pushing off that grounded foot to keep the tension on that band. This will be working your glutes and your legs and your core. If you're feeling confident, let's keep up that pace. You should really feel the burn in your thighs right now. Don't stop. Nearly there. Ah, oh, wow. And let's have a mini rest. Getting ready for dumbbell deadlifts. So go ahead and grab your pink booty band. We're gonna pop that above the knees, around the thighs. Grab both your dumbbells. With our feet just a bit wider than hip width apart. Nice flat back, bend through the knee and let those dumbbells skim the thighs and the shins. Push those hips back, snap the hips back up and squeeze hard at the top. Technically, this would really be a glutes and hamstrings exercise, but it's a compound move. You're gonna be working your core and your legs as well. And even your upper body, holding those dumbbells can be tough. Just make sure that those dumbbells are skimming your thighs and shins and dig through those heels. All right, popping those dumbbells down, you can take that band off. Just 
standing at the top of our mat. Reverse lunge into a single leg calf raise. Stepping back, drop the knee, kick up, and then onto the toes. This is a really tricky one with your stability, so no need for weights. It's gonna be challenging enough. When you lift up on those toes, I want you to squeeze everything. Get a nice wide lunge, so Bring that foot all the way back. Don't worry if you wobble. Whew, that's tough. All right, let's go and do the other side. Lunging back, kicking up, onto the toes. Make sure that back knee comes all the way down to the ground if you can. And we want that front leg, thigh parallel to the ground, get that depth. Squeeze up onto the toes. Let's get some pace now. Nearly there. Don't push off the back foot, you wanna push off the front leg. Just a couple more. Whew. Let's have a mini break. Grabbing the heaviest band, the purple one, and putting it around our thighs. Go and grab yourself a block or, or a thick book. This is what you're gonna elevate your heels on. Then go and grab one dumbbell. We're gonna hold it in that goblet style again. You're gonna just place your heels on the edge of that block or book. You're gonna squat down, full depth, and then squeeze back up, locking those legs, squeezing everything as hard as you can. But also be mindful that you're pushing the thighs out against that band so you're going to keep that tension. The main aim here is to not let your knees collapse inward too much so try and keep everything in line. Don't let that chest collapse, keep those elbows pushing forward and your chest up. Nearly there. Awesome job, let's drop that dumbbell down carefully. You can take that booty band off. We're gonna get both our dumbbells and set up for split squats. You're gonna stand with your calves just against the bench. Take a nice wide step forward. Bring that back foot up onto the edge of the bench, either on your toes or the back of your foot, and then lunging all the way down. You wanna put all the weight through your front foot. Let those dumbbells hang by your side. Bend deeply through both knees. Oof, it's tough. All right, let's do 10 on the other side, setting yourself up again. Nice big step forward. Bring that back foot up. Balance yourself just on the edge. Bend the knees all the way down. You want that front thigh to be parallel to the ground. Dig through that front foot. Don't push off that back leg. That's just to support yourself in this move. I know it burns. Oh, and take a rest. Grab a drink, shake it out, and I will see you for round two.
grabbing your purple band, we're gonna go straight into our front squat to standing calf raise. So placing it just above the knees, around the thighs. Go and grab your dumbbell, holding it in that goblet style. Elbows up, let's go. All the way down, nice and slow. Squeeze at the top. Full depth, and then up onto the toes. Remember, when you get to the top, I want you to squeeze everything as hard as you can. The glutes, the calves, the thighs. Keep that core tight. Thighs parallel. Up, squeeze. Don't rush through this. If you can pause at the bottom and really dig through those heels all the way up. Don't let that chest collapse either. Keep those shoulders down, chest up, elbows pushing forward. Nice and strong. Oof. All right, dropping that dumbbell. Keep that band on. We're gonna go straight into our single leg squat, 15 per leg. Knee at right angle. Make sure that band's secure above your thighs. Let's go. Push off that grounded foot. Let the other one float. I want you to try with this round to just barely touch the bench if you can. Really ease down. Don't just flop down onto the bench. Don't come crashing down. I want you to really control yourself on the way down and explode back up by pushing through that front foot. If you can avoid leaning on that floating leg, do so. We wanna really challenge ourselves here. Oh, that's tough. Let's do the other side. <sighs> Let's go. Ground through that foot. Keep that tension on the band. Push up, squeeze. Control yourself on the way down. Your glutes, your legs, everything should be on fire right now. You're doing so good, nearly there. Just a few more. Keep pushing them out. Oh, well done. Mini break. Back on our pink band, we're gonna go straight into dumbbell deadlifts. 15 reps. So picking up both the dumbbells, feet are about hip width apart. Nice flat back, keep that core tight. We're gonna bend through the knees and push the hips back. Let the dumbbells slide down the thighs and the shins. Coming back up, I want you to really dig through the heels and squeeze the glutes hard. Snap those hips forward. As you come down, just let those arms loosely go towards your toes. Keep that chest up and flat back. Oof, dropping those dumbbells. You can take that band off. And we're gonna go into the reverse lunge with single calf raise. So stepping back, knee to the ground, kick up, up on the toes. Get that knee all the way down, thigh all the way up. Big full range of motion, guys. No cheating. Don't get sloppy here. This is when we start to get really tired, but we've got to push through. 
When you come up, I want you to push through the front leg. Use that thigh. Don't push off the back leg. That's just to stabilize you. Up onto the toes, squeeze hard. Just a few more. You should be really working that stability too. Your core will be working immensely. This is a full body move. Oh, good job. Let's do the other side. Ready? And stepping back, kicking up onto the toes. Don't worry if you wobble, it's all good. Let's just carry on. Step back, squeeze up. Full range of motion, bring that foot all the way back. We want to get that front thigh parallel to the ground. Use your strength to push yourself up off that front foot. Just a few more. Nearly there. Oh, and mini rest. Grabbing the purple band and placing it above your knees, around your thighs, we're going to go into the squat to calf raise. Picking up your dumbbells, holding it goblet style again, elbows up, chest up, core tight, 
Narrow stance, keep the pressure on the band. Squatting all the way down and then onto your tippy toes. Remember, this is about slow, controlled movements. And I really want you to focus on your mind muscle connection. So squeeze those legs, lock them out at the top. Full depth, ladies, no cheating now. I know your legs are probably like jelly already, but we've got one more round to go. Let's do it. Doing so good, nearly there. Keep pushing. Squeeze hard. Just a few more. Ooh. Well done. Dropping that dumbbell. We're gonna go straight into our single leg squat. Knees at right angle. Make sure that your band is in place. We're gonna squat down, push off that grounded foot. Let's get some explosive movement happening here. Squeeze hard at the top. Control on the way down. Explode on the way up. I want your bum to barely touch the edge if you can. How are your legs feeling? Are we wobbly? You're doing so good. Don't stop now. Squeeze. Ooh, good job. Make sure that band's in place and let's do the other side. Control on the way down, explode on the way up. Try not to depend on that floating leg. If you need it for balance, that's okay. But I really want you to be using that grounded leg. That's the one that's doing all the work. Thighs on fire yet? Mine sure are. Just a few more. Let's finish strong, ladies. You got this. Nearly there. Oh, and mini rest. Grabbing the pink band, popping it around the thighs. We're gonna go straight into dumbbell deadlifts. You know the drill. Setting yourself up, nice flat back, core tight, bend through the knees, push the hips back, let those dumbbells slide down the thighs and the shins. Dig through those heels, snap those hips forward, squeeze hard. Remember, there's no tension in the arms here, just let those arms hang, let the dumbbells lead you down. Full range of motion. Protect your spine, don't crunch into your lower back, don't round out, keep the chest up. Let's get a nice pace going. Your heart should be pumping. Oof. Drop the dumbbells, get rid of that band. I'm gonna go into our reverse lunge to single calf raise, let's go. Step back, kick up, squeeze hard. I know you're tired ladies, but this is the last round so let's make it count. Don't get sloppy, put that knee all the way to the ground, push back up. Remember it's that front leg doing the work, so don't push off that back leg. All that stability is from grounding through the feet of that front leg, thighs parallel.
keep squeezing. Nearly there. Don't stop. Whew. Awesome job, let's do the other side. Getting ready and step back, kick up and squeeze. All the way down, get that back knee to the ground. Push off the front foot. I know your legs are probably like jelly by now, but don't stop. Push past that burning feeling. That's where the magic happens. Keep going, you got this. Oh, my legs are on fire. Nearly there. Oh, and rest. We're at the finish line. Grab your purple band, put it around the thighs. We're gonna do our elevated heel squat. So grab your dumbbell, goblet style, elbows up, get those heels on the edge of your block or book. Let's do it. Squat down, push up, squeeze. Keep the tension on that band, don't let your knees cave in. Legs are jelly, hearts pumping, but don't stop. Let's really finish strong now. This is the last round. Let's make it count. Keep pushing. Nearly there. All the way down, don't get sloppy now. Full range of motion. And drop that dumbbell. All right, let's get rid of that band. You know the drill, into our split squats, 10 per leg. You can do this body weight by the way, you don't have to do it with weights if you need to really work on your stability. Let's get set up, foot on the edge of the bench, knees bent all the way down, thighs parallel. Squeeze these out now, nice fast pace. Dig through that front leg. These are so tough. I know your muscles are screaming, but don't stop. Ah, well done, have a mini rest. We're gonna do the other side. Setting yourself up. Take a big step forward. Balancing on that back leg. And lunge down. One, two, three, four. Keep pushing. Squeeze at the top. Pushing off that front leg, make that front thigh work for it. Full range of motion, don't get sloppy. All the way down, nearly there. You're doing so good. Ah, and drop those dumbbells. Oh yeah, that was tough. And what, you thought we were just gonna stop there? No, no, no. We're gonna go into curtsy lunges just to, you know, really annihilate ourselves. <sighs> so, stepping behind and to the side. These are kind of like diagonal lunges. Go as wide as you need to in order to get that back knee to the ground. Pushing off that front leg. We're just gonna keep going until it really burns. As many reps as possible. Are your legs on fire yet? What am I doing? Wakanda forever, I guess. Or maybe Power Rangers? I don't know. Anyway, whatever gets you through it, right? <laughs> Nearly there, guys. Keep going. You're doing so good. Oh. 
Oh, it burns. And collapse. All right. Well done, guys. That was a tough workout, but you did it. Let's go straight into the cool down now. Let's get into child's pose. So part the knees, slide the arms forward. I want you to just fully relax into the mat beneath you. Let your forehead touch the ground and just focus on your breath. Close the eyes down. Nothing left to do now, but to just breathe and let it all go. Slowly rolling up onto all fours. We're gonna do some gentle cat cows here. This is just to really massage the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, navel to spine. Inhale, exhale. Let the head fully drop down. Deep breaths. And now we're just gonna sway from side to side. Just move however your body wants to move. There's no right or wrong here. Just do whatever feels good. Let the head loll down. Twist through the torso. Now pushing back onto the heels. We're gonna cross the legs. Make sure your shins are parallel. Inhale the arms up and stretch forward, exhale. Close the eyes down. You should feel this stretch all the way through your glutes, your lower back. You can just rest on the palms of your hands too. Nice deep breaths. Slowly coming up. I'm gonna switch the legs over and do the other side. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Nice deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Release any of that tension that you might be holding on to in the hip area. Coming back up, releasing the legs, we're going to have the right leg outstretched. Bring the left sole of the foot into the thigh. Inhale the arm up. Keep the chest open and stretch over to the side. Don't worry if you can't touch your toes, that's perfectly fine. It's more about lengthening the spine and feeling that stretch through the side body. If you're feeling any tension in your neck, feel free to look down. This will also stretch the back of the hamstrings. And release. We're gonna swap over and do the other leg. So left leg out stretched, right sole of the foot into the inner thigh. Inhale the arm up and exhale, stretch over to the side. You should feel this all the way down your arms, your armpits, your side body, your back. Shut the eyes down and just breathe into this stretch. Deep breaths. Now if you've got a bolster or a rolled up towel or a foam roller, we're gonna sit on our heels. Bringing the soles of the feet to the outside edges of your hips. And we're just gonna 
sink back down into the bolster. Close the eyes down. Breathe into that space in your lower back. This will be stretching your abdominals, your hip flexors, your quads. If this feels really intense on your lower back, you can just prop yourself up on your elbows. Or even if that's too intense, just sit up in this kneeling position. You should still feel that in your quads. Nice deep breaths. Slowly coming out of that position with the feet in towards each other. Soles of the feet touching, let the knees drop out. And just move back onto that bolster. Just fully relax. You can place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. Close the eyes down. Slowly bringing the knees up and rolling out onto your right hand side, coming to a seated position. Ah, namaste. There you go guys, that was the second workout of our four part block. So. Stay tuned for the next workout, it's going to be an upper body session. Make sure that you stretch. I'll be uploading some yoga sequences, but you can check out my previous one. It's just here. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!